down the road from my house today in Umclaw. There's Mount Rainier. Looking like a beautiful day. Yeah, for some of it. Yes. chipper in the backyard. Wanted to get the chipper in the backyard and I knew my truck wasn't going to clear that. Awesome. Okay folks, so here's the job. We've got two, we've got two trees here. They're pretty large. Two dead firs. This is right by my house. This is an eon claw. I mean shoot, this one's 35 inches at the butt. This one's five feet in diameter. Originally this guy had a quote for like eight grand to do these two trees. You know, and he was trying to save some money. And so I was like, you know, I can't beat the price. So I'm doing them for 4,500, but I was like, so th some things have to change. You know, the wood, first of all, the wood has to stay. We want to leave a habitat snag. We're going to lose about 20 feet tall. That saves a lot of time. Now dealing with this really fat section. I said, you got to let us smash some bushes and you've got to let us chip right underneath these trees and leave the chips here. So there was a lot that had to be done in order to make this make sense financially we had to change a lot of stuff. I mean, eight grand for sure, that's what it would cost to like get everything out to the front yard and haul everything away. Absolutely, but to save money, it's like we can do it cheaper, but some things have to change. So we're doing a few things to make our lives easier so we can try to get this done in a day. We got a four man crew here. Like I said, we're gonna leave a tall habitat snag. It's amazing. And then the, the birds can munch on it, but it's amazing how much time that saves, that last 20 feet. It's a great way for the customer to save some money and for the arborist to save some time. And then once again, smashing this stuff, the more we can smash, the less careful we have to be, the faster and the cheaper we can do this. I'm gonna go up this, it's, it's literally five feet in diameter. It's, it's a huge dead fir. We're gonna cut a bunch of this stuff out. And then the plan is when I get to the wood, I'm gonna just be firewooding for a while and Kevin's gonna go up that one and try to take care of it. I've got Kevin, Randy, and Brad helping me today. We're just sort of getting prepped here and I'm about to head up this guy. It, it's, it's massive. It's a it's a huge tree and they're they're tall and they're dead. We'll probably trim these maples. We don't really want to smash them. Cut these bushes, just make our lives easier. And it should be a rip snorting good time. Are you gonna go firewood on, on that? Yeah. I think so, yeah. But if we're running out of time, I told the guy, you know, we'll try to do firewood, but if we're running out of time, it's gonna be long sections. Yeah. yeah that, that that that's another thing, you know, to tell the guy, you know, we can cut it into firewood if we have time. But we, we wanna get this done in a day. It's just gonna be a great day. The sun's shining. Got a good group of guys here too. There we go. Wow, what a tree. So Kevin's actually going up at the same time as me, and that's just because we've got the machine so he can just drop everything anyway, so should go good. Man, that fence is really inconvenient. And Brad, yeah. my rope, if it goes through the chipper, I die. Hi Brad, here's a little tutorial. See how he has all the butts going this way? Yes sir. Make them all face that way. So this one that's bad, backwards, and back that way. We gotta move this one first. Is that good like that? Uh, it should be. I'm gonna grab those real quick. Right now I'm headed towards the 
kind of the top. I'm gonna set the zip line up there, our speed line, and get tied in and everything, and I'll be nice and cozy. This is a hyper climb rope by Samson, which I like. And this is a Gibbs double-ended flip line, which I can't really <laughs> utilize yet because the tree is so big. Once the tree gets smaller, I won't have to use my climbing line to advance. I think it was a good idea actually having Kevin go up now because I got to go. I'm not cutting much brush right now anyways. So even though I can advance with my climbing line on my front D's like this, I don't actually cut when I, uh, I'm like this because I like having the steel core around when I'm actually cutting. Like if I'm on just rope, I always double tie when I'm cutting, you know, but steel core, I sometimes I'm double tied in, sometimes not. I, I really trust the steel core. If I give it a little bit of turning, I think people get really paranoid about it. Like this, I'm gonna cut this branch. I'm not gonna throw my lifeline around it. is almost hitting the dog. I just, I, I'm sorry. I, cool, good dog. I just don't want it to be uh, getting hit. I, I feel super bad. <laughs> That machine is really coming in clutch, Randy. Uh, do you have a second for her? you cut something, Jake? Uh. Yeah. Oh, that was you and you and Jake sound so much alike, Kevin. What about my deep, sultry voice? <laughs> if you hear a guy that sounds like James Earl Jones, that's me talking. James Earl Jones. Oh shoot, Randy! I didn't want you to use your body a bunch. Well, it's uh, it got a little too backed up. Trust me, I'll I'll eventually start using my uh. I won't be using my body. I'll be using my my machine. How'd you throw out your back? Uh, yesterday I was driving. <laughs> the day before, the day <laughs> classic classic case of the driving throughout back scenario. <laughs> I was logging the other day. I didn't have my corks, and uh, I slipped, slipped off a slipped off a log. Did you hurt your back before that? Yeah. I heard it climbing. It's just been an on slew of just back hurt after back hurt. The, the driving of the tree crew, you know. Dude, honestly, this is like my favorite type of fur to do. Just barely dead. Because the branches are all light, but the wood's still strong. It's like the perfect amount of crispy. It's toasted to perfection. <laughs> Oh. Uh -huh. 
annoying. And I'm about to get a battery chipper, but. <laughs> Can you just uh, burn that, Randy? <laughs> just need to plug it everywhere you go. Yeah. Can I use your, your, your plug in at your house at every job? And what about that electric Avant? What do you think that thing's like? I think it'd probably be awesome. Very, very uh, sniper. Like, no one's seen me coming. Yeah, I was like, man, I really want to try one. Just plug it in at night when you get home. That would actually be kind of weird, like your battery saws. Yeah. I feel like that takes about two weeks to get used to. Like, oh, I got to plug them in. I think I can uh, probably just set my speed line here. I don't think I need to speed line anything above this. So I heard Snappy might get to sell Monkey Beaver. <laughs> it's your only product. Don't even sell it for a profit. Just, it's only a, it's really only like a 20% loss. <laughs> Not a big deal. Uh, I have your speed like it if you want it. Oh, Randy. Yeah. Dude, I forgot to tell you. You'll never, so last night. Yeah. Some uh, YouTube subscriber. <laughs> yeah. Sent me. I'm not even joking. A fifty dollars Cinebit Bond gift card to give to you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I've I've officially made it. Dude. Yeah. I was laughing so hard. What was the guy's name? I don't know how to like transfer it to you because I gotta. It's, yeah, I think I think you're trying to keep it for yourself as well. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I was laughing so that, hard. That'll last me another about a week and a half, which is like, you know, gonna gonna help me save. Yeah, the guy's name was Chris Williams, so I got I owe you a Cinnabon gift card. I gotta give it to you. Well, Chris Williams, thank you. Yeah, I mean, if if Cinnabon's not gonna sponsor you, then my subscribers are gonna. <laughs> Chris Williams is going to. Got... Like fifty dollars Cinnabon, man. That's a. That's a good like day for me at Cinnabon if I'm hanging out all day. <laughs> It'll last you all day. I'm just I'm just gabbing all day, man. Fifty dollars Cinnabon in one day, I can do it. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? They got you covered. You can really eat a Cinnabon for every meal. You're gonna get that sponsorship, bro. <laughs> Okay, uh, fellas. Yeah, what's up? Can I get that speed line, please? Coming your way. You are online with the with the speed line kit. Okay, sweet. One could chain coming on one speed line kit. Nice. You are online with that. Do you want me to take the rope out or leave it for right now? You could probably take it out. Cool. After I pull it up. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna uh, mine pull some slack. Okay, so I couldn't get all the way to the bottom with my branches, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unclip this right here. I'm gonna clip this around this super fat, stout branch right here. This thing is a chunker. Big, strong branch right at the collar where it's really strong. So because of the moving rope system, it, 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 it shortens up both ends as I go down, so now I'm switched to single line. I'm gonna throw my chicane on. And then I'll switch back to double line when I get back up to this height. Only thing is, is it's like really stretchy. Is that Arbor Freak? Oh, uh, this is a hypercline. Oh, uh, does sap, does snap, does sap, snappy sell it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it should. All this gear is available at Sappy Supplies, or most of this gear. This ditch witch available at Snappy. <laughs> <laughs> Nice job. Can you get can you give me one this will help in the long run if you just give me a second to rake over by Kev and then I'm going to blow into do a pile so he can Nice. We will be. I'm comfy. I'm good. Cool. 
I'm trying, I'm trying guys. No, you're doing it. <laughs> there we go. I am doing it, look at me go. Are you gonna zip line this and I'm gonna basically get it out here? Yeah. I'm online and I'm gonna probably end up backing up with it so it gets out here. Oh! Did you see that? No. The whole branch like went in half. Oh, really? Well, we didn't hit the fence, so. Maybe I'll just cut this one, it'll hang up and then you can. Yeah, yeah, I was just trying to get it like to, it got caught up on that maple, so it got all gnarly. Well, this one's like in the maple, so I'm just gonna cut it, it'll hang. send down this molly for you guys. You ha said you have molly for me? <laughs> it's really spice this job side up. Yeah, look at you. I'm gonna turn on some techno. You're gonna see me do some dancing. <laughs> it's gonna be wild. Let's do drugs, guys. Well, I haven't made it clear already. Do drugs. Yay, drugs. They didn't tell you in school not to do it. You're an idiot. Yo, you got one on. Is it, uh, oh, molly me. Three dollars. Spent cyber supplies interest you to win the saw. This is like what I'm giving away in about a week from now, but. By the time you see this video, this one will be gone, but I'll be doing another giveaway by then. Giving away one saw a month a year, every dollar.
Oh, you're good. No. It's going to sound crazy, but <laughs> you want to dive in there, and uh, it's, it's going to be a lot, but you're going to go deeper than that and all that stuff, so you're going to see the blade. Yeah, get on in there. Nice, Brad. Oh, see? Is there something stuck in there? I shouldn't be looking at your feet, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> let me uh, let me get a peek at that. A little sneak peek at that boy. At that uh, stuck guy. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. You good? Yeah, yeah. I'm, give me a sec. I'm gonna. Can we manually rotate the blade back? Not when it's stuck like that. It'll. It won't. Uh, there's no. Uh, give me a second. Oh, oh, climbing in here. Go ahead and uh, massage him. Give him a massage, Brad. Oh, I got it. Oh. Uh, 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 hey, Jake. I think you might need to s swap your blades. Yeah, it's just the most random sticks of pleasure, I call them. <laughs> sticks of pleasure. So they just they go sideways like yeah, that. Yeah, they just get jammed. Like something like it's working itself in so it jams in. That's kind of scary, huh? Yeah. I'll dive in front of the firewood if anything comes at you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll get you. I'll, I'll rehook it up. that are just closest like these 10 yeah we don't want kevin dropping wood on top of wood because they bounce like crazy the idea is to make a little pocket around this let's say the most valuable thing is this jeep probably the bike yeah the trike the trike's definitely the one <laughs> Oh. Uh -huh. 
way down. Alright, I'm gonna do two if that's cool with you. Do you, do you like them together as a bundle or? Yeah, not bundle it for me. You, nice little UPS package. Two on again. Top right here. Oh, sorry, I was on chip break. <laughs> are, are you back yet? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm back. Sorry, I cocked off too, so don't worry about the <laughs> Fellas, uh, if you don't mind, I think I'm just gonna toss the rest now. Uh, we came to a group consensus and we really care. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. Now we're gonna watch the show. Randy's blow show. Did, yeah. This is what I've been waiting for. Potatoes in here. <laughs> oh yeah, there's some rockery, for sure. I like that you sell potatoes. That guy that stump grinds, he wears the uh, catcher's pads. <laughs> he goes, I do that because I get the potatoes. And the, the rocks hit him, he goes, ah, I call them potatoes. <laughs> I gave him the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a goofball, dude. Why don't you just call them rocks? <laughs> <laughs> let me get a sh let me get a shot of that. Yeah. What the heck? That's a great thumbnail. You should say this is how they had me keep it. <laughs> you just come down. <laughs> there we are, folks.
folks there's uh there's Mount Rainier it's kind of it's not really out right now there's well it is there are a few clouds in front of it but yeah this is my hometown this is just beautiful out here praise God this is just uh it's so pretty you know that eastern that's the Cascade Mountain ranges the, the Cascade Mountain range we're just kind of backed right up to it and then on the other side of that is eastern Washington totally different climate over there but all, all those mountains right there they catch the clouds I mean Mount Rainier is a big mountain it's 14,000 feet these are serious mountains um they catch the clouds and that's why we get so much rain on this side and a lot less on the other side of the mountains totally different climate but we're kind of way up here I'm making my way downtown walking fast faces past some homebound <laughs> oh man we are just singing some cuts today some bangers carly ray jensen i don't know who that is natty lee and brulia no uh Alicia Keys, no. Um, no, but it's close. We're getting there. Whoopi Goldberg? Would you say Whoopi Goldberg? Yes, <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, it's obviously Whoopi. Sister Act 4. <laughs> Sister Act? I totally forgot about that movie. No, I mean, not me. The, the Sister Act 2 is probably my favorite. <laughs> Watch it every night. When he's not watching Guilty of Treason. Yeah, when, when I'm not starting over my seasons of Guilty of Treason. <laughs> So at this point, it's like, maybe I should just start firewooding now. the square ground chain really shines you know like these short stubby pieces I have no problem just banging out face cut after face cut after face cut because it's so smooth it's so fast cutting I mean this is large wood it really is nice for carving lots of face cuts I mean this is cutting really smooth it's a great saw too but this wood's getting big how'd that feel perfect like me and Kevin got the whole thing go ahead and fall the tree I'll, I'll pick it up but another thing you'll see is like I'll cut it when I make my curve I'll actually pop down I'm actually peeking through the curve before I start my top cut it helps light it up really well Gas, shoot. I got a hold on, I got a loose piece of wood here. I'll, uh, you know, I'll just take my big husky since I'm down to this wood, anyways. Somebody commented on a video the other day, isn't Kevin the guy from Eastside that used to dull all your sauce? Oh, <laughs> he said it only happened once, but yeah. 
Yeah, no, that's a monster tree. It's a five foot tree. It's a big boy. I think that's cool that you get to uh, keep it out of habitat pool. Yeah, that saves us a lot of time. It's amazing that last 20 feet with that time that saves you, you know? Yeah, that's a, I feel like bucking that up, that's at least you've saved yourself an hour and a half, two maybe, depending on who's bucking and who's, who's doing it. Marna 395, 36 inch bar, semi skip chain. Double cutting with my 36, it was a pain. I'm gonna switch my 42 bit, check it out. I got this, uh, these are really cool. It's a ratchet scrunch. I sell these at sappysupplies.com. It's nice because one side is husky, one side's, one side's husky, one side's still. And it's it fits underneath this half wrap right here. So this thing is really awesome. I'm just gonna swap bars and hike back up that thing. Double cutting, it's not, it's way harder in the tree than on the ground. It's like because you just it takes so much more energy to like move to the other side you know so. so just in case i cut too far on this side and i have to take more off the bottom these sticks will just help it from pinching so bad because i won't be able to get my saw back in there it's just too big and heavy so those sticks will just kind of keep it up like a sort of like a wedge <laughs> Lucky. Yeah, it was perfect. It, it, perfect. Big cut too. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, I'm cut. stoked. I'm in the tree, 42 inch bar. No Dutchman. Awesome. Alright, back cut. So this thing's perfectly straight, so no rope, no wedge. I know that as long as you see that you can see the rings right here. See the growth rings? This is the center of the tree. I know as long as I'm past this. It'll go on its own because it's totally perfectly weighted. Now I got the center of gravity back here. Thanks, buddy. You wanna, you wanna cut that, Brad? What? You wanna cut into that? <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna use that? Yeah. So just, just be, please be super careful <laughs> with the tip. It's really long. It takes me for it takes me an hour to sharpen that thing. Yeah. So just cut. Watch that curve. Once you get past like the two thirds mark, just really keep on. Uh, if you see it close at all, pull the saw out. Uh, get back and forth like this a bunch. Just let it eat, you know? Uh,
That was fun. Yeah, good cut. First today. time ever doing that. That was awesome. That's good. Oh, that's nice job with that tree, Kevin. Today. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for that. Uh, thanks have for everything. <laughs> thanks for everything, Randy. Yeah, man. <laughs> Hopefully you'll have me back out and Kevin. Hopefully you did a good enough job. Yeah, one of you. One of you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. That was, that, that was fun. That was uh, cool. That was a good time. That was a big tree, man. I, I... Yeah, five footer. The chipper did Glad it. Glad you decided to Dude, take that one. Dude, this chipper's awesome. The little chipper. Yeah. Did. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Yeah. No, this chipper. You guys both climbed your hearts out. I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> Still on the machine. Sorry, your hurts from starting it so much. Yeah. Today, so gonna... Sorry about your old broken body. <laughs> yeah. You're back. Yeah, that's totally fine. Uh, Thanks, man. But yeah, Thanks, the man. cap makes it hold the. Uh, Nice. Uh, Cash is king, yeah. dude. Feels a little light. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, man. Nice yeah, job. Yeah. 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 It was fun. No, thank you again. That was awesome. Fist. Everybody fist me. Hop onto this. Yeah. Thanks, guys. No. Yeah. That was killer. All right. That's it. Well, thanks for watching, folks. That was a that was a great day. Sun was shining. Working with my friends. Big old tree. Um, close to my house. So just a great day. I just want to thank you for watching these videos that I make. Please check out cybersupplies.com, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, folks.